Boys and girls, this is my Georgia Hate Week offering. Uncle Lou, shut up. We get it. We get it. Alright? You're a little bit upset with some of the Tennessee fans that have been bombarding your videos and comments and Twitter and Facebook and whatever. Uh... Deal with it. Wish I could say that I was part of that, but I don't have the time nor the inclination to uh, get on Twitter and in the comments and troll you. i just tell you like it is. You're not going to win this weekend. Cameron Dawson, you're not 14-2. and two. Georgia is not 14-2 and two against Tennessee in the last 16 years. They're 11-5. and five. Still a good record, but not 14-2. and two. Facts, son. Get your facts straight. Uh, yes, Georgia's won an SEC championship in the 2000s. Good for you, Uncle Lou. Uh, you're still not as good as Tennessee. Sure, we went through a rough spot the last seven, eight years, but part of it's your daddy's boy's fault. Vince Dooley's son... Actually, it's not his fault. It's Mike Hamilton's fault for hiring his dumb ass. Um, we can't do anything about the Derek Dooley error. Uh, I notice a lot of Georgia fans won't talk shit about the short time that Lane Kiffin was here. I wonder why. Maybe it's because he beat the shit out of your Bulldogs. Speaking of Bulldogs, why'd you guys change the name? I mean, I personally like the Georgia Goats. It's got a ring to it. Uh, and then, when you did change your name to Bulldogs, how did we end up having a dog as a mascot before you? That's just crazy. Smokey came along before Ugga. And then when Ugga came along, Smokey just lifted his leg and took a piss on him and that explains why Georgia built that cute little air-conditioned house for him down there in Athens. Cameron Dawson asked, when was the last time Tennessee beat Georgia in Athens? 2006. There's the answer to your question. I think it was Cameron Dawson that asked. And Joe Rock, I haven't forgotten you, son. I know you're a Georgia fan, but you won't make a hate week video. That's okay. You're an NFL guy. Uh, Georgia sucks. You're going to lose. Be prepared to crow up. I expect a crow video from you even if you don't make a pregame video. Just because of all the shit you talk to me when we see each other in hangouts. <coughs> Uncle Lou, you're full of shit. Your videos are funny and entertaining. I'll give you that. They really are. You, you have a way of making what you say sound important and, and real. You know, like, you probably have some people actually thinking that Georgia's a good football team and that Tennessee's inferior to Georgia. You might have a few people actually thinking that. Now, the smart folks like me that actually know the history of these two schools know that that's a crock of shit and you're full of shit and Georgia's just not better than Tennessee in any aspect of the game except for one, Heisman winners. You guys have got two of them. Tennessee doesn't have any, of course, Tennessee will never have a Heisman winner because it's written in the laws of college football by the football gods that Tennessee is not allowed to win a Heisman. We've come to accept that. National championships, six here, one there. Or maybe it's two for you guys. Yeah, that's right. I think you guys claim one back in the 40s. My bad. <coughs> Only one in our lifetime, though. I guess hell, you could say the same for Tennessee. Only one in, no, two in my lifetime. But six altogether, anyway. He, it's neither here nor there. Um, bet proposal, Uncle Lou. Since you are so full of shit, I'm going to call this the X-Lax bet. I don't think I've ever seen it in TTC or anywhere else on YouTube. If we win, you go to the store, film yourself buying a box of X-Lax chocolate, X-Lax, I guess. Bring it home, unbox it, 
on camera and eat the whole damn box full of chocolate x lax you know that should be fun in a day or so I'll do the same thing should Tennessee lose Cameron your vet your video or your uh, bet proposals in the video comments of your long Uncle Lou like video and let's face it young man you know that fucking Tennessee's going to beat Georgia so bad this weekend that y'all won't be able to see straight. The tide has turned, forgive that god-awful saying. But it has in this series. You guys had your time, now it's our turn. Sure, you were 11-5 and five in the last 16 games against Tennessee, but what about the games previous to that? Nine in a row for the Vols. You won't talk about that now, will ya? Now, will ya? I'm done talking about this. I may make another video before the game. If not, you'll definitely hear from me one way or the other after the game. Go Vols. And uh, screw you, goats. You have no shot. And I think you know it.